All right, you guys, it is time for my sketchbook slam challenge flip through. The goal is to complete a 600 page sketchbook in 30 days and they may not be the best sketches, but I did it. <laughs> now, let me just preface this by saying not only is this thing 600 pages, it is massive. This one, the pages are about 11 by 12 and a half, which is huge. Here's a comparison beside a regular eight and a half by 11 sketchbook. The size difference is just crazy, especially when you see the pages open and you see how much more surface area you actually have to cover. So it's not only 600 pages, it's 600 big pages. I apologize if you can hear my cats playing, but like this is my only chance to film this video because I'm leaving town for my wedding tomorrow. So yeah, we're just gonna get through this. <laughs> so if you watched last week's video, that was put up on the last day of this challenge actually. And I expressed my concerns about time and how it just took so many hours per day to do this. Like I would spend probably between four and six hours, sometimes even more depending on the day especially if I fell behind and had to do more than 20 in a day, like it would just get ridiculous. So you couldn't afford to do really nice stuff. Like I started off slower and I only got done eight pages in my first day and I quickly realized I need to pick up the pace. So there's gonna be a lot of ugly stuff in here, just a warning, like a lot of ugly stuff. When you're favoring quantity over quality, this is just how it is. <laughs> They're fast sketches. One thing I said last week is imagine spending half an hour per page making a really nice sketch. That's not that much time to spend, especially on a page of this size. But if you spent 30 minutes on a page, it would take you 10 hours a day to get in your 20 pages. So yeah, <laughs> you kind of just have to go quick. Most of these are also studies just because I didn't have time to think up of 20 original ideas every single day. I struggle to think of ideas. Like it takes time for me and there's no way I could think of a whole bunch of original stuff. Like some of it is, and then some of it is just referenced from different books, like anatomy books, photo books. Some of it's just stuff I found on Google Images. So yeah, I feel like we're still getting a lot of glare. Turn my light down a little bit. And then I started on gestures here. I have a love-hate relationship with the gestures in this book because Doing gestures is a really great exercise for getting poses down quick. Like these are 30 second gestures. I started really hating the 30 seconds and I quickly moved up to 60. Like I do some 30 second ones elsewhere. Like, ah, oh, dang, that's better than some of my 60 second ones. I guess, cause you have to go even faster. It's more flowy. <laughs> but yeah, gestures are something that's highly encouraged in the art world, but I feel self-conscious about them cause I feel like people are just gonna think it's ugly or I'm taking the easy way out and honestly, it is kind of the easy way out because those are the faster pages to do and going forward I didn't do this many per page and so like when I was really struggling to find the time to get in my pages I was like gestures let's do more gestures <laughs> so yeah these ones I spent a little more time on like 120 seconds five minutes ten minutes I did a lot of studies of dresses from some books I got recently next week's video is actually going to be a book haul so the, most of the books I used in this sketchbook are there but not all of them like this one's not this is anatomy in action by Raul Moreno by masters of anatomy and yeah I've, I've already shown this book in a previous video that's why I didn't include it in the haul the haul is just for new stuff so if you see a lot of like fleshed out actiony superhero-y type poses that's from that book <laughs> and then for gestures I used quickposes.com and then I would set a timer for how much time I wanted to spend on them. And you can choose nude or clothed models. I mostly just chose nude, nude so I could see the body better because one of my goals was to practice uh, bodies. Another one was faces. And then the other thing was clothes. Those are the main things I wanted to draw in this book. So you're gonna see a lot of that. And then there's some random stuff too, like a little well, water faucet, <laughs> sushi, <laughs> just whatever I could think of. But yeah, there's a lot of pages in here I'm definitely not proud of. Like <laughs> most of these pages would not go on my Instagram. Let me just say that. But I'm still proud that I finished this thing. And I feel like I learned a lot from it. I think the gestures were super, super helpful. And all those anatomy drawings, like it's crazy. They might not be the best, but I feel like I learned so much from them. I think this challenge really benefited me. 
But like I said in last week's video, I don't necessarily recommend it because it's it's such a huge time investment. Like a lot of people didn't even realize how much time I'd spend on it. And then I'd be vlogging myself watching three or more movies in a night while working on it. And I didn't even look at the screen hardly. I would just listen to them because they're movies I've already seen. And I was just going ham on the book. It was just background noise. But like it, it takes a long time. Like trust me. You don't realize till you start like I knew this would be hard and I knew it'd be time consuming but I didn't fully realize it till I started and I was like oh my god it was like day one I'm spending eight hours on it I'm like what am I doing <laughs> well not day one because I only did eight pages on day one but those pages took me a long time <laughs> so yeah I quickly learned you gotta go fast you gotta go fast and fast means rough there's going to be mistakes, but to me, I still learned a lot. And there's just pages that are kind of random, like <laughs> these Pokemon ones. These are just copied from reference. This is also where I started using ballpoint pen. To me, these were still useful because it's about learning to use reference and like seeing something and trying to properly translate it onto a page. I think that's a good skill to have. And then, of course, the ballpoint pen. It's nice for you guys because you can see the art better. I stopped using pen at some point, though, just because it was... Well, my good, not my nice pen ran out of ink and I couldn't find it anywhere, like a replacement one. And I was like, oh, I'll just buy this other kind instead. And no, I didn't like it. And then I was going to buy the one I liked on Amazon, but I, I decided to just go back to pencil. <laughs> but yeah, this I feel like was more useful than just drawing the random Pokemon poses. So what I would do is I would copy a pose from reference and then I would draw different facial expressions and poses just from imagination. I think that's a pretty useful exercise just for you know figuring out poses perspective and things like that so I didn't go crazy with it but I should have done more of that I really should have done more of that because that was fun <laughs> yeah more of these some more gestures the pen lines are extra scratchy like I feel like my lines have gotten less scratchy in general from the front to the back but chicken scratch chicken scratch oh well so oh God, here's where I started sketching during a live stream. I, I attempted to sketch during a live stream. It didn't work very well. I was shiny hunting for a polywag at the time. So I drew a bunch of different polywags. And then I was like, okay, hey, filling the page this much is taking way too long. Even though they're really simple designs, it's still taking way too long. <laughs> Cause like I said, if you're spending half an hour per page, that's 10 hours a day. This page is like gross. Oh God, my, some of my least favorite pages are coming up. It's hard with pen. I started getting really frustrated that I couldn't erase anything. That's why I stopped using pen. <laughs> this is the page I hate. I hate this spread so much. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Oh no, that's that's a mod that's a modified version of the Secret Tunnel song. <laughs> <laughs> See some pen sketches I liked. Like this this is fine. Other stuff is just like ugh. Like, I liked this one. This is one of my favorites. This one's just like, why can't I fix the face? Like, no, please. <laughs> I mean, a lot of my pencil sketches have tons of mistakes, too. It's more just like, there's certain things I'm like, can I just fix that? Because it's just that. It's bothering me. <laughs> I really like this one. That's one of my favorites, too. But yeah, I love how easily the pen shows up on camera right now. <laughs> I like that one too. That's me on my bachelorette. My legs look really short because it's taken with like a phone camera from kind of above. You know how it just like <laughs> foreshortens you. So there's that. I like that mouth and nose. <laughs> that. Oh, that was my face also from my bachelorette when I was zip lining. That's what I used for reference for that one. <laughs> it's my zip lining face. <laughs> That's also me drinking wine. <laughs> This is my sister, Holy Maddie. This is when I was getting really frustrated with the pen. I was like, I can't fix anything. This looks like crap. It looks like crap. Oh, and this is that chick from Deadpool. The new one, Deadpool 2. <sighs> I don't know what some of this is. And you start to go loopy. Like usually by page 10, I was like, I'm done for the day. Like I don't want to do anymore, but I'd have to keep trucking along. And then some days I did more than 20 like a lot of days I did 30 or 40 just because uh, well not a lot of days but because some days I just couldn't work on it at all I was so busy so that I'd have to make up those pages on another day oh this is when I was using my goopy pen like look at this it just it's goopy and gross doesn't look nearly as nice as that other pen <laughs> then I switched to pencil for a while these are all just original designs there's a witch Pokemon trainer but like you can't spend too much time thinking of creative things to put in your design. That's the struggle. You just, 
you just gotta go. Ugh, like I said, it's, <laughs> it's a struggle. I like this guy. <laughs> oh God, Juicy Nugget. That's her name is Princess. Her name's Juicy Nugget. Cause she's digging, well, I don't know if that's her name, but she's digging for a Juicy Nugget. It's the name of the picture. Maybe not her name, but it's the name of the picture. And then here we're back to reference stuff. Here's me referencing Kiki from life. And then more from my dress books. Okay, this page, this spread right here was drawn by Kiki, my cat. <laughs> I know you look at this and you're like, that's a waste. That doesn't count as two pages. I was holding my pencil and she would nudge my hand. It was the cutest thing. This book actually has 604 pages if you count the front and back pages, like these ones. So, you know, that's fine. Kiki just counts towards those. I still have 602 other pages <laughs> that I did. <laughs> Technically, I was holding the pencil, so, you know, does that count? Probably not. <laughs> oh, God, this page is just, like, stupid. I used pencil shavings, and I rubbed them on the page, and then I outlined it to make it look like a seahorse, and then I drilled this, like, yes, doot, doot. Oh, hi. Whoa, Nelly. Bish, please. <laughs> oh, dear. Boat hair. That was in one of the books, one of my reference books. This woman just had a boat on top of her hair, and I was like, oh. Roughs for my comics. You've seen these in a previous video. More bloopy, goopy pen. I went back to it for a while. And then at some point I just stopped using it all together. Do -do -loo. Do -do -loo. I know there's a lot of white space around here, but honestly, like who has the time to fill it when the page is this big? Since when is it a crime to do one drawing per page? Oh, you, like you see these beautiful sketchbooks online all the time where people fill every space and you're like, oh my God, this book itself is a work of art. Like this is amazing. And it would be nice to fill this to that extent, but no, ain't nobody got time for that. One thing Holly did, Holly, the creator of the sketchbook slam, one thing she did is she used markers to create boxes around characters and stuff. And that really helps fill the space and is just very aesthetically pleasing. So that looked really nice, but I didn't want to copy her. <laughs> I did do two boxes elsewhere in the book, but that was it. It really makes it look nicer and helps it fill the space if you do that. Oh yeah, more comic planning stuff. There are some really bad pages coming up somewhere. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Kitty cats. Well, there's a lot of bad pages, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> if something looked bad, I wasn't going to sit there erasing it forever to try to fix it. There's certain things that erase. Other things, I'm just like, no, I'm moving on to the next page. Like, a lot of these have flaws, and I'm just like, nope, <laughs> moving along, moving along. Ain't nobody got time to fix those more gestures see flipping through i really do like my gestures in a sense like some of them are extra bad but i mean i think it's mostly just the guilt i'm guilting myself because i'm like oh those pages didn't take as long and the drawings are rough therefore they're bad but that's totally not true at all i think they're actually nice i did a ton of gestures just to save on time but yeah i hate that one this one i think is kind of cool the tree I was referencing from looked cooler, but you know, this is one of those pens where the ink comes out extremely black immediately. And so you can't, oh God, no. <laughs> so you can't like slowly layer up. You can't sketch the same way you can with a ballpoint pen. This was a no picking up the pen thing. I'm sorry, this page is disgusting. This is, this is one of my least favorite spreads in the whole thing, but you know. And it's just using that same pen. Like it's so bold, it's so neat. It's really good for doing this type of stuff, but the line is just weird. It looks bad if you do rough, like if you try to use it like you're sketching, it looks bad. You need to just do one continuous line. So I didn't use it very much. I went back to ballpoint for a while because that was nicer for sketching. And then here's when I used a Prismacolor Vera Thin pencil. I was like, oh my God, this thing is amazing. Cause usually I use the Kali erase, but this is so much more pigmented. It's much harder to erase, but oh, that looks good. That red looks so good. This, these are some studies from an Andrew Loomis book. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, baby. Heads, heads. A lot of these I'd like to spend more time on, like I said, but just had to keep going. Keep trucking along. Bods. Hey, hey, boy. I actually had more fun drawing male anatomy than I did with female anatomy because you guys know I draw so many women. Like, that's my favorite thing to draw. And uh, I actually really enjoyed drawing all the dudes when I did this. Maybe you'll see more dudes from me going forward. 
I don't know. <laughs> this is more Andrew Loomis stuff, these ones. I actually look quite like that one. That one's okay, too. This I just made up for imagination, and these ones. These are also made up. Kiki, what are you doing? Can't I film in peace? Also made out all this stuff. <laughs> I love this page. <laughs> That's so good. Here I was using my Palomino Blackwing 602. It was around these, like, these last few pages. I started using that pencil. It doesn't erase very well, so I've always hated these pencils. I have a pack of 12, and I only ever used one. Like I sharpened it, and then I was like, nope, I don't like this. But for this book, because you can't rely too much on erasing, and because it was nice and bold, I was like, this actually looks good. So I ended up using that for all my pencil work going forward, unless it's like a colored pencil or something. But if you see gray pencil going forward, it's that Palomino Blackwing 602. <laughs> some weird expressions. Oh, God. <laughs> da -da -da, some 60 second gestures. I should probably prop something up under this half of the book. Like I'm trying to hold it up to reduce glare because if it sags, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. La, 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 la. Yes, I just feel like I want my other hand. Help me flip through this. Douglas, I like how this one turned out. I just feel like the line quality is nice and the shape is nice. <laughs> These ones I experimented with the like, little stub feet. The poof! The poof! Doggles. Because, yeah, I wanted to get some animals in here. I didn't do a ton. This one's jaw is just like, what is happening? I hate looking at that one. <laughs> so I did some dogs and cats. I love this spread because I love this one and I love this one. I think they both turned out nicely. <laughs> Keep dimming my light, just trying to reduce glare more and more. Doggy. Okay, I think we're at a point I can let that side hang. <laughs> Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but it is hilarious. Here's that page I mentioned where I did do boxes around things to help fill the space. I think it looks really cool, and it doesn't take too long to do, but yeah, I didn't want to copy Holly the way she did hers. <laughs> I really like this one, this cat right here. I like him. And this one. Heavy breathing. These ones are like, what? <laughs> don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Oh my, yeah, this bunny is really weird. <laughs> Give me your eggs, bish. Give me some of that nest quick. <laughs> and then this one's all spook. Ugh. And then that was a plushie that I tried drawing. The plushie looked a lot better than my drawing. <laughs> oh. da -da -da -da. Gestures. Blah, blah. Some faces. A little cottage. Some hands, more hands, loo loo. I like these pages where it's a combination of the graphite and then the Prismacolors. Actually, this, yeah, that's, that's still Prismacolor. <laughs> I was thinking Collie Race and I was like, no, that's the Verithin. And I'm like, that's still Prismacolor. They're still both Prismacolor. These, this one was referenced from Honey Lemon from Big Hero 6. This one kind of was. And then, yeah, that one too, her Honey Lemon ref. And this is just from Imagination. Little kitty face. I feel like I could never draw cat faces like this before. I feel like I learned a lot just drawing a handful of cats in this book. So think if I took it even further and did more cat drawings, you know? You know? It's all about that practice, man. I don't think I made a huge jump in improvement, but I feel like I learned a lot. Okay, here's this. These are the pages I was talking about earlier. Where I was like, oh, we're going to come up to some like not so good ones. These are ideas for my third channel. I have a third channel, if anyone doesn't know. Um, it's been on hiatus because I'm relaunching it. And I was just trying to think of some ideas, like really simple drawing tutorials for kids. And so I was just coming up with some ideas of things I could do. Because it's the simple stuff that's the only thing I'm comfortable teaching. Oh, and these are rough. Like, I know pushing doesn't look like pushing. I was just... These, this is all just a bunch of crap posting, man. I was just blitzing through these pages. Cat, like an idea for how to draw a cute cat. Draw a cute dog, I don't know. Castle poop. Cactus. <laughs> blah, blah. Frank! And then we're back to some more gestures. 
because my thought was if I'm going to sketch anything, it has to go in this book. Like, I don't care if it's those crappy doodle domain sketches. I'm doing those doodles in here. Ain't nobody got time to work on two sketchbooks. Oh, Kiki brought this to me. She likes to play fetch and she loves zip ties. Go, Kiki. Here you go. Boop. It didn't make it out the doorway. It hit the door frame. Sorry, baby. She likes when it goes farther. With these, I was trying to draw a hand from reference and then stylize it in two ways. That's what that was all about. I think that's a good exercise to do. Oh, you're back, but you didn't ring it. I'm just going to chill beside me. Okay. Some feetsies. Oh, a little baby just like you. Marietta. Kitters. I had fun drawing boxy shapes like construction lines and things for animals like this. Some bears. A duck. Some more of this dress. How long is this video going to be? I'm only halfway through this thing. Well, I'm more than half, but oof. Some knives. This one I just made up in my imagination. <laughs> shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Dresses, mushrooms. I was trying to experiment with filling the page, but I couldn't go back and fill too many. I was like, no. <laughs> Don't have time. Time is the enemy in this challenge. La la la. And sorry if I sound like I'm just knocking my art the whole time. I'm just giving you my honest opinions on like what's going through my mind. Like what I think of these sketches. Because um, this challenge, like I said, definitely favors quantity over quality. I still think it was useful, but it's like, you know, these are not the sketches I'm going to be posting on Instagram. Maybe a few of them. I should maybe take a few pictures before I head out of town. <laughs> and um, that way I can post them on Instagram when I'm gone. <laughs> But there's not many I would really want to post. And I don't like posting too many sketches back to back. I'm just weird about that with my Instagram. And sometimes I post stuff and then I later delete it. And I'm like, this looks bad. This looks bad with the flow of my pictures. I'm going to delete that. <laughs> this is fun switching to color for a while with these. It's kind of fun. It's fun to look at. Look at that. Look at that. And even just adding stupid zigzags to fill a bit of the empty space looks cool, I think. Some action lines. Did I skip one? No, I gotta lick my fingers to make sure I do this properly. More colorfuls. And then here I was referencing from a book called All About Techniques in Drawing for Animation Production. So I was just copying some drawings out of there. I like the way these look. Cause I wanted to do, like what I liked about all those ones from that anatomy book is it's stylized in the sense that it's like superhero type anatomy but it's still fairly realistic. I wanted to try some stuff that was a little more, more stylized, like more cartoony. So I like that. Some different character types. Yeah, boy. Little kid, his arms are too small, but whatever. I realized that while drawing it and I was like, well, one, this doesn't erase. And two, no time. It's like the slogan, no time. <laughs> Weird pose. <laughs> These ones were in color. It's the first time I did gestures in color. Ugh. Yeah. 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 Some buildings. This one I spent way too long on. I was like, nope. <laughs> so that's why this one's so much more simple because I was like, I can't keep spending this long on the page. I'm gonna be here all day. I'm gonna be here all day. But yeah, I put several hours in on the days that I sketched, which was most days, only a few days where I didn't sketch anything, but I would put in several hours. Like some people think I just sit down for maybe two hours and do this. No, 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 no. I had so many late nights, so many all nighters. Yep. Well, not so many. I mean, I did two all nighters where I just stayed up till the next day and then napped in the afternoon. <sighs> Although the one I did last night was because I was in line to get the SNES Classic. The SNES Classic, boo-boo. You want this? My door's half closed, so it's really hard for me to throw it out the door. There we go, success. <sighs> and this is from an Imagine FX anatomy book. Just search like Imagine FX anatomy and it will come up. Oh, baby, you're too cute. You're too cute. I must play fetch with my kitter. <laughs> Just the scritchy scratching. See, so yeah, all this is from that Imagine FX book. Horses. I never draw horses. <laughs> more gestures. 
There's a lot of gestures, like I said. I think they're very useful. I just feel guilty. I'm like, oh, people aren't going to want to look at these. <laughs> <sighs> oh, thanks, Kiki. Here we go. What are you? Yep, yep, yep. Here I was starting to reference ball jointed dolls just to get a very cute doll like face. Even that one was one. His eyes are super creepy though. He had huge eyes. This was also referenced from one, but then I kind of just took liberties with the pointy shape of the head. That was also a doll. These were dolls. I really like the style of this one. Yeah, they're nice. I think I might use ball jointed dolls as reference more often because I like that. Well, our dresses, of course. Fashion forward. Can I have all these dresses, please? Thank you. Little faces. I really wanted to get into shading more, like practice faces with shading. I had such a huge urge, but I didn't have much time. There was a few that I did, but I was like, Bailey, just save that for another sketchbook. This is a sketchbook slam, slam challenge. You're kind of limited as to what you can do. Save your fancy crap for another day. It does make me want to uh, keep a sketchbook though, because you'd think after this I'd be so sick of sketching, and in a way I am, but I'm so motivated to make like a really nice sketchbook. Maybe not nice on every page, like the super fancy ones you see all over YouTube, but just ones where I take my time on each page. I'm really tempted to do something like that now after this. <laughs> Cause I just want to slow down and enjoy it. Oh, all this. I forget where this starts, but I started limiting myself to five minutes per page for these anatomy ones here. These weren't gestures necessarily. This is from that anatomy in action book, but I set a timer and I'd have to do the two drawings in five minutes or one for some pages just because I was like, you know what? I can't sit here all night. I was still up all night, but you know, <laughs> it really helped me speed up the first part of it. Once these anatomy ones are over, that's when I stopped limiting myself to the five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> lol. Just because the boobs in that one, just where they're positioned. I'm like, ha, that's funny. Yeah, here's where I stopped <laughs> doing those. That, that. Mm hmm. Some faces. I like these ones, even though they're a bit wonky. I still really like those two. La la la. Just kind of stuff for my imagination. <laughs> All of this. Oh, and then here's stuff from reference. Clothing and whatnot. This is from the glossary of a book that you'll see in next week's haul. The glossary has amazing little graphics where it's like types of collars, types of cuffs, types of jackets. And I actually really like these pages. Like this looks neat. I stopped spraying my pages to prevent transfer about like around halfway through. So pencil from one page transfers over and looks a bit messy, but whatever. <laughs> I just think these are cool with like a picture and a label. <laughs> Necklines, pleats, pockets. It's just satisfying to look at it. I don't know. Visually satisfying. And it fills the page a bit more, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, this stuff's also from that glossary. <laughs> I had added some text. This is from the main pages of the book. That's actually Beyonce. Haha. <laughs> There's this one, this one. I couldn't tell what her other arm was doing in the picture. Like, you see, I don't know if it's kind of on her hip behind her. Then there's like this extra bit of flowy fabric. And I'm like, where's that coming from? Because the sleeve's not that flowy. I don't know. I just drew it as I saw it, but it confused me. <laughs> These are also from that book. Mm, twiggy. And I just started drawing stuff on my desk. My pencil sharpener, my camera. I'm just getting so sick of it tape dispenser, mug. See this? I added a little bit of shading here, just a little bit. And I was just having a heyday with it. I was like, oh my God, I'm having so much fun. I want to do more stuff like this. This is the stuff I want to do in my sketchbook. But I spent way too much time on this page as it was, even though it's quick in a sense, it was still too much time spent. So rip, but oh, oh, I'll have to give you guys like a nice sketchbook down the line like a nice sketchbook tour whenever I finish a nicer one and I don't mean like fancy necessarily on every page just more more effort per page not being rushed from the sketchbook slam challenge you know 
work it. And then gestures. This is the final stretch of the book. I was going insane. <laughs> uh, I was working on this on Thursday and then I had until Friday, which is today, the day I'm filming this, to finish it. But I just decided to finish it all Thursday because I was going to go to bed. Then I was like, oh my God, I forgot I have to line up at EB Games early in the morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay up. I'm just going to finish this darn book and then go get in line. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I was getting so sick of this. So sick of it. Like you'll see, the last few pages in this book are just absolute garbage. Just wait for it. Just wait for it once we get past these gestures. There was that, more shading, but I did it really big so it filled the page, haha. -ha. <laughs> I hate drawing so big in these because I feel like the bigger I draw, the more mistakes I make. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I hate my life, but I don't want to die. It's 3.45 a.m. I'm done today's pages, but there are only 19 left. Let's blitz them. I hate this book. Sketchbook slam is the devil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> me right now. Also me. Hello, je suis Monsieur Chat. J'aime manger des frites parce que j'aime les Oh, God. You can read these yourself. They're, um... Uh they're interesting like why why did i do this like totally counts as a page right right uh, okay <laughs> gotta get in line for this baby soon <laughs> so roughly drawn like so quickly these were done so fast wow amazing drawings very high quality <laughs> da -la -la. Da -la -la. Da -la -la. So yeah, if you attempt something like this, don't feel like you need to do a masterpiece on every page because you're not going to get through it. You got to go fast. So don't pressure yourself too much. Oh, and then someone requested that I test out different mediums on a page. So this is for you. So here I did some watercolor, pencil crayon, Crayola marker, Copic marker, Pentel pocket brush pen. You can see some more Pentel pocket brush pen showing through because I did that ugly thing freehand with the pen real quick. <laughs> But the watercolor really buckles and does this. So it leaked all the way through to the other page. If you are doing double-sided to get 600 pages, I wouldn't recommend watercolor. Imagine how fat this book would get because all the pages would buckle and this thing would be like this fat <laughs> on its side. Like this way, it would be like boof. It wouldn't even close then. But uh, yeah, I just, I didn't have time to color anything. There's tiny things with pencil throughout the book but I was just like nope the Crayola doesn't really go through a ton the Copic marker obviously does that was no surprise but yeah so if you're gonna color stuff use one of these if you use this ink pen it's gonna show through like you can see right now but yep <laughs> please kill me now never again wow such art a hundred percent effort yep yep done Done. 604. Done. <laughs> so, yep, that's my sketchbook slam. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not the prettiest, but, you know, give it a try. That's all I have to say for it is <laughs> complete the, the 600 pages in 30 days, then come talk to me because it's harder than it sounds. Trust me. You're going to be putting in a lot more time than you think you would. And like I said, it's just so big compared to a regular size sketchbook. <sighs> so... This ugly beast is complete. I'm proud, but I'm just so happy it's done. Like I am mentally 100% done with this. Like, no, get me out of here. I'm so excited to just go back to a normal schedule and be able to put more time into my content and stuff. Like, oh my God. Oh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.